Media is all around us. From the shows we watch on television, the music we listen to on the radio, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, the media was, is, and will always be a significant part of our society. The news media are the eyes and the ears of the public. As an important source of information for many people, the media is morally obligated to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The most important events, the real and serious issues. But what happens when the news media fails to do its job? As the world continues to develop new forms of communication technology, the viewership of traditional news television is gradually declining. Therefore, some news media outlets resort to yellow journalism in order to get the audience interest back. Yellow journalism is defined as news or topics that are played up to appeal to your senses and not necessarily your intellect. It features scandal mongering, sensationalism, exaggeration, over dramatization, and other unprofessional practices by news media organizations or individual journalists. The diversion from responsible reporting to sensationalized tactics is a sad reality for some major news sources to garner more viewership. The more viewers a news program has, the more advertising revenue the news outlet gets. One example of this yellow journalism is the Ebola scare a few years ago. American magazine Bloomberg Businessweek published this eye-catching front cover on September 2014 during the peak of the Ebola outbreak. This headline exaggerates the seriousness of the disease. The subheading even states that the United States failed to stop the virus from spreading and that the government screwed up the development of the treatment which further portrayed Ebola as an alarming disease, like an epidemic that could start an apocalypse. In reality, there are only nine Ebola cases in the United States, and only one person died. Surely, yellow journalism created an unnecessary panic. Now what can you do to stop yellow journalism? You, the millennial generation, have the power to inform and be informed because of new communication technology. Before, television, radio, and the print media were some of the only few ways for the masses to obtain information. The rise of the internet gives your generation an unprecedented opportunity to examine different perspectives of any issue at a click of a button. You can choose to avoid sensational publications and consume content from neutral, objective, and unbiased news sources. Or, you also have the option to directly communicate with experts of the subject matter. With unlimited sources of information online, you can choose to fact-check the statements of yellow journalists. For example, if this Bloomberg magazine scared the crap out of you, Use the internet to research more about the subject matter. The evolution of communicative technology from television to the internet and smartphone has changed our society by making us more informed. Not only that, the growth of the internet and social media today also gave rise to a more participatory culture. The availability of the internet to almost everyone allows you to let your voice be heard by posting content online. At this point, you are no longer just a consumer of media. You are directly participating in the culture by using media technology to address global audiences. You can inform this global audience by sharing to social media content from reliable news sources, keeping your friends and family informed. You can even publish your own video or write a social media post providing the real facts behind the issue and of course not exaggerating the facts or providing so-called alternative facts. My name is John Carlos. I want you to inform and be informed about yellow journalism.